Hello everybody, Lakeisha McKnight is here. Welcome, welcome, welcome again to Leadership TKO, the global TV show. Today is actually Fitness Fridays. Fitness Fridays, and this is where we're gonna help leaders to get fit. Because in order for us to carry out our purpose in the world and have a big impact and influence others, is if we are totally well. And so today is Fitness Friday. And so today, we're gonna to talk about the power of cardio. Let's dive into it. Once again, welcome, Lakeisha McKnight is here. It is Fitness Fridays here with the Leadership TKO Global TV Show, and we're gonna help you to get fit. And so today we're focusing in on cardio exercises and really just analyzing the power of cardio, the power of cardio. So I'm gonna take my glasses off, okay? And uh, what we're gonna really focus in on is different exercises that you can begin to implement uh, in your routine. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna demonstrate maybe about, let's see, about two, <laughs> uh, about two of them, okay? And really not so much in depth, so just bear with me. It's not gonna be a whole lot of audio. I may come back here, of course, to wrap it up, but I'm gonna show you two of them. So the first one uh, is really gonna demonstrate jumping jacks, okay? Jumping jacks, and remember, with cardio, the purpose is to strengthen the heart, as well as allow that blood to flow so that oxygen would be able to move throughout the body. So you'd be able to inhale and exhale. So that's important too when you're doing your cardio is to remember to breathe correctly. Inhaling and exhaling. This is important to keep in mind as you're doing your cardio exercises. So let's jump into the jumping jacks. So here we go. And normally when you're doing your jumping jacks, you're moving your legs. Okay, your legs are going in and out, in and out, and I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. Hopefully you'll be able to see. And then my arms are gonna go up in the air as well. So I'm gonna try to back up as much as I can so that you will be able to see what a jumping jack looks like. So notice that my legs was going in and out, in and out, and my arms was also going up and down, up and down. So you're moving your arms, and you're also at the same time working your legs. And it's getting the body moving so that you can strengthen your heart. So let's talk a little bit about jogging. I know some of you have asked me about that, and I really wanna demonstrate that for you. Now keep in mind, I am not by far a fitness expert but I'm showing you examples of things that I do for cardio. So let's talk about and let's demonstrate what jogging may look like. And it may look a little silly, but I'm gonna jog in a circle so that you'll be able to see for the purposes of this video what jogging looks like. Now notice, you're not full pace, you know, going for it. You're not sprinting. There's a difference between sprinting and jogging. Jogging has a smooth glide and pace to it, where sprinting is it's a little bit more of a force. Now I can give you an example of what sprinting looked like. So let me give you an example of a sprint. That's sprinting. 
So, I want you to drive, practice it. Smooth glide. Make sure your arms are moving. Don't be stiff like this, but make sure it's moving. Smooth glide. Legs in the air. Look at my leg. Smooth glide. So, those are two examples. Jumping jacks and jogging. This is gonna help you to do some exercises for cardio, strengthening your heart, and helping you to lose and shed those pounds. Now, of course, I'm out of breath right now. Give me one second. <laughs> but thank you so much, everybody, for being here for Fitness Fridays here with Leadership TKO, Global TV Show. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I encourage you to do that, okay? And also be sure to visit the blog post. We have an entire message focused in on exercises for cardio that are really powerful. So thank you so much for watching. Be blessed. And we're going to be back here for a fresh video here with Leadership TKO Global Reality Show. But until then, I encourage you to think, to speak, and to live leadership.